Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who needed to find her redo. And I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, hard goods, and making YouTube videos. So today I'm here for a thread up progress video. A couple weeks ago, I did a, a video on what I was sending to thread up and I'll link it down below. Um, go watch it and then you might understand a little bit better what this one's about. But I sent in 24 items to thread up and I sent them in on the 16th of October. Okay. Well, on the 23rd of October, they were began processing. And on the 24th, before I even had a chance to make any changes, they went live or they went to bidding or whatever they do. <laughs> I don't even understand all that. So in a matter of eight days, my clothes that I sent in a thread up were already listed. Okay. And then yesterday, today is October 29th. Yesterday, the 28th, I received the ones that they did not take back. I mean, I don't know what's going on with thread up, but right now, they're turning over really good. Now I did go to buy, get another label and it said, oops, you can't get any more. <laughs> oops. Um, you know, they, they do this. I got three. I should be happy. Um, but I would have liked to have been able to get one more cause I needed to get some more stuff out, um, and get it being processed by thread up and out of my dining room so we can have Thanksgiving in there. <laughs> So, let's find out what they didn't take, okay? So, I'm just going to pull them out, okay? The first thing they didn't take was this Night Studio New York longer blazer. Um, you know, I, I wondered whenever I was doing the, when I'm doing the original video if they would take it because I believe it is vintage. It's in beautiful shape. Oh, maybe not. I, I don't remember it being like that but we'll see. I don't know. Um, it just take a couple of quick little um, black thread to tack it up. So that was one thing they didn't take, maybe because that was broken. Okay. Another thing they didn't take was a new with tags and Fontaine blazer. I'm not sure why they didn't take it. Um, I don't know. To me, it's a beautiful blazer, but I, I don't know. Maybe they've quit taking Anne Fontaine. Okay, the next thing they didn't take, and, and I understand this, this has got some wash wear on it. It is a Kim Rogers, just a little Kim Rogers. I threw in a couple of things to get some weight, but a Kim Rogers hoodie, animal print. You know, I'll get this listed. I don't know if it'll bring much, but I'll list it. Okay, the next thing they didn't take is also a new with tags. And it is, sorry, it is the uh, One State Blouse. Again, not sure why they didn't take it. I wish, you know, I've heard that the real real tells you why they didn't take it. You know, stain, too many, you know. And I wish that Thread Up would do that. That way we would have an idea. A lot of times, like, I'll probably put this these two, these two items in the next one going because I don't know what's the matter. Maybe they just had too many. I don't know, but I'll try again. Okay, the next item they didn't take was an Ann Taylor uh, blazer. Maybe they're just not taking like basic blazers, but these are all really cute blazers. But they didn't take this. And let's see. The last thing that they didn't take was this Banana Republic cotton blazer. And I really kind of expected that because it's cotton, so that would not be the season. But it was still a nice blazer. So, how many was that? One, two, three, four, five. Five items they didn't take, and I sent 24. So that meant that they kept 19. So, I'm going to be putting right over there the items that they took. 
and um, how much they have listed them for. I did change a couple prices, but really I didn't change that many. I have already sold, sold, let me get both, sold four items, and I'll tell you what those are when we get down to that part, okay? So the first item that is listed is the day trip vest that I said, I can't believe I'm even sending this. They have it listed for $19.99, and my payout, if it sells, will be a whopping $3. The next item that they listed was a David's Bridal Casual Dress. It was the real pretty brown dress. Um, they listed it for $37.99, and if it sells, I'll get a $9.12 payout. The next, and I hope it shows how cute the picture is, um, what I'll put over here, but the next was Gap Maternity Casual Pants, and they are listed for $17.99, and if they sell, I get a $2.43 payout. Now, that's if they sell for full price. ThreadUp does have uh, discount codes, so they could go down in price. Okay, the next item that they took was the purple London fog coat um, that I'd previously sent in last year, um, and it did get bought, but they returned it. And it is listed for $79.99, and if it sells, I'll get a payout of $38.40. Now, I'm looking over here. My computer's over here, so I'm reading from it. The next item that, that they took was a pair of Banana Republic casual pants, and these are listed for $12.99, and I'll get a payout of $127. Hmm. But, you know, what? It was not a good purchase on, on my part. I probably didn't pay very much for them. But, you know, probably not going to make my money back on them. But came out of the house. Okay, the next is that Pendleton Wool Blazer. And it is vintage. And they have it listed for $79.99. And a payout of $38.40 if it sells. The next item they took was the Travelers by Chico's casual pants, and they have these listed for $29.99 with a possible payout of $6. If you're planning to get rich by selling things on ThreadUp, I don't know that that's going to happen. Okay, the next item is the pair of uh, Floral Talbot's casual capris. Capris, I was really surprised. They have them listed for $17.99 with a possible payout of $2.43. The next item was that real pretty Connie Robertson embroidered jacket, and they have it listed for $59.99 with a possible payout of $21.60. The next item they took was a pair of J. Jill cords, corduroys, and they have these listed for $16.99 and with a possible payout of $2.16. Now, I'm going to address something real quick. I'm sitting here looking at a Connie Robertson jacket, a, what my next one's going to be the St. Emile blazer, and they are both listed for 86 days. They still have 86 days to sell. Well, they are both listed over $50, but the J. Jill cords are listed for $16.99, and they're listed for 86 days, whereas the Talbot's pants were listed for 56 and I'm sorry, I should say 60 and 90 because they still have 56 days to sell and 86 days to sell. But I don't know how they determine what gets 90 days to sell and what gets 60 days to sell. That seems pretty bizarre. Okay, the next item that they took is a St. Emile blazer, and they have it listed for $69.99 uh, with a possible payout of $29.40. The next item was the Traveler's... Um, by Chico's vest. It was a quilted vest. They have it listed for $28.99 with a payout of $5.66. And the final item that hasn't sold yet is the pair of code blue jeans. And they have these listed for $17.99 with a possible payout of $2.43. So those were the items that have already are, are listed and waiting for some wonderful person to buy them. Now, I do have four pending sales, okay? Now, don't get excited by the amount of money. Even if all these items sell, I still won't make my 29 or what, 
that I paid to get the items back and to get um, expedited shipping. I mean, expedited processing. So, I don't even know what these items were listed for because they were already processed before I ever got to them. So, this pair of jeans, the children's place, place jeans, I will get a 75 cent payout if they actually sell. Uh, the American Eagle Outfitters jeans, um, I will get a $3.52 payout if they sell. Now, this one's decent. The Helmet Lang sleeveless, sleeveless blouse, I'll get a $22.33 payout. And the Chouse, 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 is it Chouse or Chouse? Chouse, I think Chouse. Chouse blazer, I'll get $3.26 in a payout. So, I'm not getting rich by this box at all. At all. But, you know, you're never going to know until you try. And those items are out of my house. Now, some of them may be coming back, but hopefully some of them will be gone. Now, I also want to give you a quick little update on how many items that they took on the previous two. Now, the first box I sent in... I sent in 32 items, and these were primarily dressier clothes, okay? Suit clothes, dressier blouses. These were, you know, items that you go out on the town, most of them, um, or you wear to work. They actually took 24 of them, so 24 out of the 32 they took. I've got some pretty good little prices on, on most of them. Everything from a Luca Luca silk green blazer to a, what else? To a uh, Saks Fifth Avenue top. Now, I'm going to tell you what's already, quote, sold. So the kit that I sent in on October 5th has a potential payout of $245.13. Yes, and I spent $26.99 to have this processed early and to get my items back. Um, so, they have, I'm going to tell you which ones have sold, or quote, again, quote sold. I've got 11 that are pending sale. So, I did something right. Okay. So, again, all I know is what payout I would have. Uh, a White House black market dress pants, a 710 payout. Casper Blazer, $7.48 payout. Casper Blazer, $10.92 payout. BB Dakota ba Blazer, $9.12 payout. London Style Cocktail Dress, $4.08 payout. Mitchie Moon for Sanyo Blazer, $2.40 payout. Ann Taylor Dress Pants, $2.40 payout. Beyond by Ashley Graham Cocktail Dress, $10 payout. Ann Taylor three quarter sleeve top, two eighty eight payout, and the Luca Luca silk blazer forty four thirty eight uh, payout, and the Casper short sleeve blouse is three nineteen payout. I'm sorry, Bobo is letting me know that I'm filming a video. Okay, so that's the potentials. I mean, eleven out of twenty four that have quote already sold. That's pretty good. Now, for the one I sent in on October 9th, it's pretty amazing to me how quickly they're getting all this done, when before it took like months. Some people still are taking months. Okay, so I had a total of, let's see, 36 items that um, got listed. This was my box that had basic everyday clothes, okay? Yeah. And they don't list for much, but they take them, okay? So the 30, what did I say, 39 items, they only returned two items to me out of 39 items. Yeah, two items. But you're going to see the total I can make based on potential profit for this box is $71.03. Okay, so let's look at what, let me tell you what has sold. Okay, let's see. 
So I have seven items that have, are pending sale that are in transit or already there. So the first item is a Cinderella special occasion dress and I have a $1.27 payout possible. An Alfred Dunner short sleeve button up shirt sold for, uh, I have a $1.47 payout. A Devon blazer, I have a $1.47 payout. A Christopher and Banks casual skirt, I have a dollar eight payout. A Casual Land short sleeve top, I have a 48 cent payout. <laughs> a Hollister pullover sweater, I have a dollar 73 payout. And I have Levi's jeans that I have a dollar 92 um, payout. Now, I've already received one payout from this box. It was a Maggie Sweet long sleeve blouse, and I have made $1.27. <laughs> so, I'm just letting you know, is Thread Up the World's Greatest Way to Turn Your Stuff Over? Maybe for stuff you don't want to list, like I send in a lot of black items, you know, the dressier black items. I send them in because, you know, it's really hard to capture their true beauty, or it is for me. You know, they have people that are the greatest lighting and professional photographers and all this. I'm just Lisa. <laughs> so, what do you think about the uh, Thread Up Update? This is my beautiful clock. Sorry. What do you think about Thread Up Update? Was it what you were expecting? Hopefully, I'll have some more sold in a couple of weeks. I will give you a further update of how things are going, but you know, I'm pleased. The stuff from this second, the one that's got the more everyday clothes, these were things I bought in a, bought out a yard sale. And I think I had about a thousand items and I bought it for a dollar and fifty cents. Okay. I mean, dollar fifty, a hundred and fifty dollars. Dang. I think she just wanted it gone. And some of the items probably over half I've donated or given to a friend because they had a bunch of little girls and I have a friend that has a bunch of little girls. So I gave her, you know, most of the kids clothes because I, I just don't do well listing kids clothes, but that Cinderella dress came from there. Um, you know, and well, most of the stuff from that, uh, this, the second shipment I sent in, came from that yard sale. So, not expecting a lot. I still have a bunch. I have a bunch of jeans and stuff that I've listed. I think I've sold two of the pairs of, out of that bunch. I still have so much more to go. And I would send in a whole bunch if they took men's, a whole bunch. Okay, so if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, me telling you how I'm doing on ThreadUp, or with some of my hauls, then let me know and hit the subscribe. Please let me know in the comments. I need to know. I've had a couple of people ask me, and I've started preparing a couple of, couple of different um, dates of items that I did hauls on or I did unboxings to give you how I did. Um, so hit the subscribe button if you want to see that. And if you want to be notified the next time I put out a video, then ring the bell. I also want to remind you, I did that $50 collaboration with a, with a bunch of um, YouTubers. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. Go watch it. Am I going to win? No. <laughs> no. Am I going to enjoy playing this game with uh, the collaboration? Yes. Yes. I'm very competitive. But that's okay. I've watched... There are, I think, 15 to 20 other um, YouTubers that are doing this, and I've watched all their videos, and there's some of them that are rocking, that have just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful chances of winning this. So, if you haven't watched the uh, watched my video, go watch it, and then I also have links in the description where you can go watch the other videos. So, thank you for coming and watching me today, and I need you to do me one favor. I need you to go out and find your redo.